Hey, it's me, Pro Jared. Welcome back to Game Dev Tycoon. Things have been going super well. And, uh... Just finish up all my contracts. Get a little bit of money off of all of that. Boom. And, uh... I guess I need more research points if I want to be able to uh, make anything new. So I guess, really, at this point, just making another game. Perhaps a sequel to something? Loitering Justice sure did seem to do well. And Panzer Shot. But man, you guys remember Amethyst? Let me think here. People like Jailbreak, too. Jailbreak, Residential Dreams, Simplify Sucka. I've done too many military games. I kind of hate the fact that I did that. Circuit Break. Man, I made a lot of games. Would I make a long way to sequel to Lemonade Stand, Ex Stand Extreme? Is that is that day coming? Perhaps it is. Or I could bring back Caterpillar Care. I don't know if, I don't know if that's good in today's market. Oh, maybe, unless I put on the Wii. Oh, I bet this would kill it on the Wii. As a casual game? Children? Maybe? Let me uh, let me think. Spookum. Taekwondo it up. Plymouth Pioneers. Axe Kick. Ryan Tracker. Night Fright so... What was it? Night Fright so bright no light? <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Uh... Come on, bring back Amethyst. Not yet. No, I gotta, gotta get a new engine before I do that. Turbo Train, Suburban Breeze, Jailbreak, Residential Dreams. If PS3 was out, I'd make an RPG for that. I don't think it'll be good. You know what? I'm gonna go for it. Caterpillar Care Sequel for the Wii. It'll, it'll be medium sized for the um yeah it's gonna be for the Wii simulation uh casual simulation game uh called Caterpillar Cater Caterpillar Care um Garden so now you have a whole garden that you take care of along with the caterpillars. Um, what else should I throw it on? Well, let's make a DS version. Yeah, why the fuck not? Caterpillar gar care garden. Come on, everybody. This will be fun. Uh, we'll go medium booth. <laughs> we'll try something a little different here. Okay, so what do I know about casual simulation games? Close to jack shit. I don't think engines can be important for casual games, whereas gameplay will be key. So, yeah, stuff like saved game, multiplayer, you know, I want to have that, but... And then, yeah, some simple cutscenes in there too. So, this really makes the gameplay top. Share all on that. Story and quests. Do Jennifer, engine-wise. Not a whole lot of engine work we need to do. Uh, we could put Joan on that. Alright, let's go. Um, we'll, we'll market it a little bit. So, uh, do magazines and, and demos, I suppose. Just Caterpillar Care is coming back, everybody. But, uh, yeah, let's talk about it. What do you want to know about Caterpillar Care? Is it more on graphics or story quests? The uh, graphics. Because that's all casuals care about. Probably. There's the PS3. And it's got the Blu-ray format. 
Yeah, so that, that, that'll be my RPG bad boy. Cat, we're showing off Caterpillar Curry Garden, also Grand Assault. There's still a lot of people coming by to our medium-sized booth. This is actually impressive for a medium-sized booth. How's that do? Mid 84th! Hey. Okay, so... Uh, in a casual game, I guess less than AI. Burp. Something like that, I guess. Yep. Uh, oh, I have not done anything. So I'll do level design. Dialogue. Jennifer can do dialogue. And let's get... Devin on AI. This game might suck. Yo, people are hyped for Caterpillar Gear. People love sequels. It's just a simple truth. Dude, I'm getting some big ass bubbles going into this though. Did you see that shit? Hell yeah. Uh, see, graphics. Yep, graphics is where it's at. Uh, sound. Bring world design up, I guess, but mostly graphics. Um, ooh, virtual economy. Gotta have that. In the day night cycle. Yeah. Just a little more sound. More world design. Okay. So, graphics tech wise, Ben. Uh, we'll get Nolan on sound, and I'll take care of world design. Sounds good. Come on, everybody. Give me as big a bubble as you got. We're actually. Did you get a surprising amount design wise? Shockingly? Maybe this will be okay. You know, for a Wii game. There we go. The CEO of Departure Science, some of your test subject, our test subject, recently exposed to some of your games and they didn't go insane. Anyway, I have some products I need advertising. They'll pay me $200,000 for red barrels. Uh, no, I'm good on money right now. I don't know if you noticed, but all our games are quite successful, so I don't really need it. <laughs> Get that last bug. Get that last bug. Hey. New record! Hey, graphics leveled up. Joan leveled up. Jennifer leveled up. Sound is also leveled up. And we got 100 research points. Realistic weather, 3D graphics version 3, orchestral soundtrack. Ooh. All right. I'm going to wait. Nolan, you're my best researcher. Let's get some graphics, baby. And then we can also... Uh, that's... Please like it. Oh, shut up. Come on. Damn, I was hoping for all tens, but this is still really good. An eight. Ah, that, that fucks it up. That's still, that's really, really good. Caterpillar Care is back, baby. Get excited. Uh, who's, what's my fastest? I think Jennifer was one of my better ones. And then the rest of us will do some contract work. Get some more research points. What do we got? I'll do a smaller one at first. Just to get that research. A bizarre show of arrogance. Sony has been trash talking the 360. Ooh, stop. Go, Caterpillar Care. Oh my god, it's something amazing. This was a raked up over 500,000 in sales. If the game were a music record, it would have gotten gold status. The excitement around has no end! The Caterpillar Care excitement is there! PS3 has been released. Alright, we're gonna do a new engine, and it's gonna be Platinum? We reached a million sales? My first million hit, and it's Caterpillar Care. The long way sequel from like 30 years ago. Alright, what can you tell me about this? Virtual pet and casual simulation is great. Gameplay is important. Virtual pet for audience young? Great. Cheryl is new to the team. A few more games and the team will have higher potential. Really? Because I feel like Cheryl's been just killing it. Oh, she needs to go on vacation, though. I could not see her bar there. 
Oh, they just love Caterpillar Care. That makes me so happy. I am... I'm so happy with all of this. And simulation games were big up there, and I just released one of those. Hey. Cool, got that done. Alright, so what else do I want? I really want to improve... Uh... Shit. Start getting some voiceovers. While the rest of us finish up these contract works for some research. <coughs> oh, sorry! I just want to be able to... Like, I want my next engine to be as good as possible, so that's why I'm trying to... get as much research points as po f first. So we can... Maybe use that... Oh, this isn't helping much. What if we just develop a small game and not release it? No, oh, Jones is a really good researcher, too. No, Jones like best researcher. What the fuck do I still have Nolan then? Oh no wait. Uh, I think Nolan's just a little bit better, but Joan is faster. So Yep, gotta get our gotta get our payment here. With all the contracts I did. There we go. I've got twenty-four million dollars. I can publish or make whatever the fuck I want. Another contract work. I think at this point all my engine upgrades though cost like 80 or something like that though. Yeah. Unless I'm gonna do some more topics. Like. Sure. Let you guys do some research. Ooh, mystery. While the rest, of, while the rest of us take a vacation, am I right? Okay. Uh, I probably could spend that research points on training instead, but oh well. Maybe I just need to make. Yeah, I might just need to make another game and not release it, just to get that experience. PS2 is about to be taken off the market. Yeah, let's just develop a new game, and this is literally just called. This, this game is just actually, um, the uh, engine prototype do not release. Let's still make it medium size so, you know, we actually try. Uh, what do I learn, want to learn more about? Uh, medieval. We'll, we'll get practice making a medieval RPG action game. Um, I don't want to pay for the licensing cost because I'm just I'm just practicing. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Unless for some reason the numbers end up killing it, which I doubt, then we'll actually release it. But for the most part, we just want to... I just want to focus on learning more than anything else. Let's see. Yeah, the pump a little bit of. Well, I pump a little bit of money into it, but we got enough to spare right now, so I'm not too worried. Uh, mod support. Save game, mod support. As gameplay is demanding more. Around there. Because story quests are going to be the most important, obviously. All my ladies take care of de stage one of development. How's their hype? It says it's engine prototype do not release. No one should know about this. 
Wow, that design's doing really good, though. Apple? Oh, shit. Their new iPods can have... They're making phones and shit now? Is that where we're at? Making mobile games? Damn. Alright, dialogue's obviously super important. RPG game. We don't need a level editor. Or Easter eggs. But mini games in RPG actually make sense. Uh, yep, don't have enough dialogue options in this. Ugh, that's on me. Uh, Jennifer on that. Level design. Jared. Don't on that. Uh, just, we'll stick with the medium booth, because we, we can't go smaller. If we go smaller, we'll just embarrass ourselves, but... I swear to God, if you guys show off engine prototype, do not release. I'm going to be really upset. I, I'll, I'll be real upset. I feel like world design is going to be the most in pain, important in an RPG game. Uh, yeah, rich backstory, open world, all that, all that nonsense. All right, so design-wise, so I feel like J Cheryl could do the best there. Graphics. Uh, we'll do Ben, Devin. There we go. Yep, getting those research points, which is mostly what I wanted out of all of this. Doesn't have to release. We're trying to get better at our graphics. And Try to make better engines. We're showing off Caterpillar Care Garden and our prototype game. Do not release. Emphasis on do not release. I don't want to release a game called Engine Prototype. Not a lot of people show up. 300 points in design? 300 hype? <laughs> oh god. That's really good. Um. Quick, rename it. Engine Prototype is now the medieval RPG action game. Out of nowhere, you, you wouldn't believe it. it was, it's, it's called the uh, uh, freaking uh, Ballista Bat. Ooh, cool. All right. What? No, no. It's called Ballista Pet. Not Engine Prototype. Do not release. No. It's pretty good. I just realized I made an engine game for the 360 and released it like an asshole. All right. Uh, do I not have graphics version three yet? Co-op plays a hundred. Uh, I don't even have surround sound yet. Damn it. There's always so many like different engine things. I just keep losing track of what it is I can do. I do have graphics version three. Good. Lot four story things. Lots of engine things. I don't need to do more engine things. Four gameplay things. Three dialogue. Three level. Two AI. Three world. Really two sound. So. Uh. Shit. Got so much engine stuff, I don't need to throw more in there. How many gameplay things do I have again? I keep forgetting, I'm sorry. Four. Some arguably outdated. Skill trees and co-op could be cool. What the hell? Uh, let's do just let's do some level design. I got thirty points left over, so I'll do some re I'll uh, do some training. Who wants training? Do I want training? I want training. I'm level eight. I should be better at shit.
Uh, everyone, we'll have everyone do a little bit of training. I'll do one. Jennifer can have one. I'm gonna increase her speed. Ah, damn it! Sold five hundred thousand though. Joan, I like your research and your speed. Oh, I'm out of points, so never mind. Uh, contract work? Sure, you guys do that. <coughs> All right, the iPhone is now now out. Oh my god, it sold another million. Good job, engine prototype. Do not release. I'm really proud of you. I'm upset that a game with such a stupid name did so well. It really shouldn't have. Maybe that's why people liked it so much, because it had such a weird, quirky name that they couldn't help but feel gravitated towards it. They're like, engine prototype, do not release, yet it's released. I feel compelled to play this game. Or something, I don't know. I don't know why else people would do that. actually mad about it. Stupid. Oh, I didn't complete it on time? Oh, fuck me. That's never happened before. I was hoping just to get enough research points to maybe do uh, another engine. Uh, one more research. So that when I upgrade the engine, I got one more thing I can pump into it. Which I'm getting there. I'm real close. A small number of dedicated fans have asked to release the source code to the Dingus engine? Oh, you guys can have it. It's the Dingus engine. I would love to see what kind of games you come up with with the Dingus engine. That would, that would, nothing would please me more. No contracts currently available. Shit. What else can I research? 3D graphics? No. Oh, nothing else. Damn it. Well. I've got $40 million. How often does contract work show up? I don't know what else. Oh, it's about, about to be new year. Maybe in the new year, contract work shows up. All right. Contract work. None. Damn it. Damn it. I got $40 million. Welp. Uh, I guess we're just kind of hanging out. Quick. Develop a small, uh, a small spy game. This one, this one we're actually not releasing. Doesn't, fuck it. Really? RPG did that well? I'll do it for the PS3 just to get that experience. All right, this one is actually called Actually Do Not Release. Otherwise, I'll be mad. We're just trying to... Uh, don't even matter. Don't even care. Just... No, I don't want to talk to you. Nope. I've got nothing I'm working on that you know where. Marketing. Oh, God, no. Shut up. Everyone shut up. Who keeps leaking the game? Uh, there. Whatever. Fucking... There, whatever. Just... We're just trying to learn, not actually sell this thing. So everyone's getting hyped for this game I'm not gonna release. Stop it. Just stop it. Stop it, everyone. It's, a, it's such a small game. We're just trying to learn how the PS3 works. There, see, look at it. only a hundred each. That's not even that good. Finish. But I did get exactly 100 research points, which means I can max out my engine. All right, trash the game. Yes, throw the game away. There. <laughs> All right, last thing I want to put into it was a uh... shit. What was I gonna do? Damn it! I always do this. 
four story things, lots of engine things, four, ga five, four gameplay things, three dialogue, four level design, two AI, three world design, two sound. I lean towards sound. Actually, I'm gonna have Nolan research it while Cheryl goes on vacation. Surround sound, Cheryl on vacation, and training for the rest. Yeah. And design. There. And I guess mini vacations for you two? They won't you won't need to be gone long. Alright, by the time all that's done, come back nice and fresh. Develop the new engine, it'll be great. Uh no booth this year. Pro City Gay is mysteriously absent. From E3, what does that mean? We'll have to find out soon. All right, everyone, it's time. Create a new engine with 3D, actual 3D graphics. And we'll call it the uh, Amethyst. Bring back the Amethyst engine. Uh, uh, Let's call it Amethyst 2, but there's no space in between it. That's how you know it's like real good. Optimized for multi-platform release. Got voiceovers. Putting we're putting in everything, my dudes. Everything is an option in here. It only costs three million dollars, which we got plenty of money for. All right, there we go. Amethyst Engine 2 is coming up, and I'll be using it to making some new games in the next episode. I'm doing better? Is that is that good? Make you all happy? Comment down below what you thought of the games I released. Especially engine prototype do not release. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and like the video. Oh man, iPad's coming out now. As always, thank you guys so very much for watching. See you next time! <laughs>